children this is my horse Cyril today we're going to be filming a clipping video I will show you what clippers I use and why a few tips and tricks and just generally how to clip a horse I've just got him in from the field as you can see he's rather muddy he's going to get a groom and all the mud off him so that we're ready to start clipping you must always start with a clean horse so that the blades trim through them nicely otherwise also mud blunts the blades so all this mud will come off and then we'll be good to go. Here are the Andis AGC2 speed clippers. These are the small clippers that I tend to use for their face and their legs. This is the biggest set of clippers which are called Lister Legend Clippers and I use them for the body and the majority of the horse. Next to us we have this clipper side. This is really good for lubricating and disinfecting the blades. I use this regularly, probably every 10 minutes as it also is really good for keeping the blades nice and cool so that you don't burn the horse. I also add this clipper oil every 10 minutes as it's again is important to keep lubricating the blades. These are the grooming brushes that I use for the horse and to get rid of the excess hair on the clippers. Here at first I go over to the horse with the clippers and show him them, also bring them near him and give him a pat. I then proceed to turn them on and give him another pat. Once he's used to the sound and the feel of the clippers I then start clipping him. It's always important to clip the opposite direction to what the hair lays, this is because it gives it a much better finish. As you can see I'm doing that here and I'm clipping upwards because the hair lays down. This is a good technique to make sure you don't get any lines. I'm pretty lucky that my horse is very good to clip but there are a lot of horses that don't like to be clipped. There are options to give them sedation so that they don't get stressed out during this procedure. However, I obviously don't have to do this for Cyril, but I do like to pat him and praise him and let him know he's being a good boy. The top tip whilst you're clipping their neck is to make sure the mane is the other side so you can see clearly where you need to be clipping. It is important to do this part slowly and carefully as obviously you don't want to be chopping off too much which may chop some of their mane off which obviously isn't a good look when you're a horse like Cyril. If he was a cob he might be able to get away with the hog look. But obviously if I rocked up to a show with him having half a mane, it would not be a good look and people will probably give me some funny looks so I like to do that bit very carefully. As you can see I've left a saddle patch, this is because I like there to be a bit of hair covering where the saddle goes just for a bit of protection. I actually don't use any stencils or draw anything on, I just literally do it wherever I think but I'm sure there is better ways of doing it. I think you can put obviously a saddle cloth on them before you clip them and get a good idea as to where your saddle is going to sit but because I've clipped quite a few times I just know where I would like it. As you can see here this is the reality of clipping. You get covered in hair and it's really not a great job but at least your horse looks nice. We live in England so I had to put him in the stable because it started chucking it down but here I'm doing his face and I'm just using the big clippers just for the main wispy bits that are underneath his face and then I'll use the smaller ones for the more sensitive areas. Here is the finished product, as you can see he now looks really smart. I've clipped all of his body and his legs and he was a very good boy to clip. I also clipped his tail. Cyril is looking stunning now, aren't you Cyril? Yes, you look gorgeous. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more regular videos on there. I will also link my Instagram down below.